Hello. I just pulled up to Target. Oh, don't want to get in front of me while I'm filming. Hold on. Wait a second, because there's a man. What the hell? Oh, I think someone just got in an accident. Damn. Oh, he is pissed. Oh, he's like flipping out. They just like backed into each other. This lady literally got out of her car to like join the situation and she's not even in the situation. She's just, she's a mediator, I guess. I just pulled up to Target. I'm about to go book shopping. What better way to feel better? What better coping mechanism than going book shopping? And then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble, which is right across the street. I drove all the way to a different Barnes and Noble because this one's bigger and I just wanted to change. My hair is not fully dry. Let's go. day apparently just left target fully almost got into a car accident just now like literally five seconds ago because someone just tried to pull out directly in front of me thank the lord that um i was paying attention sadly they were not but very close to getting in a car accident i don't know what's going on it's all the aftermath of the car accident at target and now i almost got into a car accident and i don't understand what's going on i'm just trying to buy books guys can we relax a little bit i got two books at target i will show you them later i don't know if you know this but on top of the books being like 20 percent off at target a lot of them are cheaper online so you can just pull it up and price match at the register so each book i got was 9.98 target has fucking cheap ass books you just have to look okay i'm going into barnes and then i think i'm gonna go to this bakery that i like a lot i'm gonna go get a little dessert after this and then i probably should eat lunch first what can you do sometimes you know Home. I did go to the bakery on the way home. And I got a s'mores bar and I got a cupcake. Vanilla cupcake. I'm about to take a bite of this cupcake because I've been wanting a bite since I got it, which was like an hour and a half ago. That's so good. I'm about to eat that whole thing. Oh, also, on my way home, I saw someone getting arrested on the side of the road. I don't know what was going on today. First thing I got body wash no i'm from target i got two things first book i think might be the book that i'm most excited about 11 other words by christina lauren i am so excited for this because i've heard so many good things about this book i ripped the sticker off i read the unhoneymooners a while ago and i really liked it and then i read i think it's called the soulmate equation i read that next and i was like their writing is good let me read something else and i heard that this book was like really good and then i just never read it okay I changed into a hoodie because I was a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm pretty sure it's childhood friends to lovers. I really like the new cover. It's so cute. Oh, Kevin. Next, I got Shatter Me. I don't know why I never read this. Like the bigger series. Because isn't it like six books or something? And like some novellas. I don't know, but I am very excited for this. I have heard a lot about the guy love interest in this book. I need to know what the hype is about and what's going on. I know this is like a dystopian thing. Don't know anything else about it. I need to go back and read all the book, like YA books that i never read because like i never read the hunger games i don't know why i think that might be hard to read now though since i've seen the movies and i know what happens but there's like a few books that i need to go back and read that i never read as a team a young team i got four books from barnes I'm very excited about so i had like seven or eight books in my cart yours truly addicted to you and then love light farms and i was gonna get those but i was like i can't this is too many so i put those back and i think i'm gonna order those because those are ones that like i don't need to get right now anyways i had a five dollar off coupon for barnes and i have memberships so i got a little bit of a discount first thing is probably the most out of character book that i think maybe i've ever gotten i don't know if i've ever read like an actual like mystery thriller besides verity but that did 
Does it count? I don't know. I've been wanting to read one because I feel like I would really like that. It was in the section for the mysteries. I know Agatha Christie is like a very big author, but I didn't know she was this big. I got And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Starting off, you know, might as well go for the go for the big one. I literally just looked her up on Goodreads and I got the first book that popped up. Oh, they gave me a little bookmark and it's to get up and run from Barnes and Noble membership. It's like a small book. She died in 1976. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you have any recommendations for mysteries and thrillers because I want to get more into it, but I'm not on that side of like book anything. I don't really follow or watch anyone that read any of this. And you know what I think it is? I don't think I pay attention to whenever anyone talks about a murder mystery, like a thriller. So I think I need to pay attention because I don't know where where are the recommendations for this. I need recommendations because I have no idea. I literally was in that section like, what 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 does any of this mean? I need to know what's good. Next, I got King of Wrath. I honestly was not gonna read this because this is the same author that wrote a book called Twisted Something. Twisted, li Twisted Lies? Twisted Love? Twisted Love. Did not like that book. I didn't like it. Mostly because of the ending. But I got this because I've heard it's really good and I like the cover. And I saw Billionaire CEO and I said, you know what? Maybe I will read this. That's all I really know is that there's a billionaire CEO. I think it's like, is it fake marriage or marriage of convenience? I think it is. I think it's marriage of convenience. There's a ring. I think it might be. I got Aragon, which I heard is very good. And I'm currently reading Fourth Wing and there's dragons and I'm loving it a lot. A lot of people were saying it gave them the same vibes as this, but this is like YA. It's like, you know what? I think I need more dragons. Like, I do need more dragons. I have no idea what this is besides dragons. I think I probably should have read the back. Is Aragon the name of the dragon or the name of the person? Oh, it's the name of the person. Hmm. I have no idea if I like this, but I hope I do. I loved reading books as a child. Like, a series of unfortunate events. That shit is so good. And then I stopped reading for, like, so many years. And then I started again six years ago now, maybe. And so... For the period of time that these books were like happening, I didn't really read. The last book I got is The Shadows Between Us. I have heard very mixed reviews on this. Like I've heard people say that it's so good and some people say like it's so cheesy and corny and bad done but a lot of people say like it's badly done but it's still very entertaining and like good which i like stuff like that so why not she wrote daughter of the pirate king too at the back and it seems interesting her lovers buy her nice things but she's bored i just need more fantasy enemies to lovers fantasy romance i just need more fantasy romance truly there's not enough fantasy romance in this world that's everything i got i think this book is pretty that's all i got from the bookstores I don't like sprinkles. I'm eating soft, moist, delicious cake. I don't want to bite into a fucking hard ass sprinkle. Wow, this is so good. What do you want from me? Mm. I'm gonna go read fourth week now. Bye.